Hi, I'm John Jordan with Bullocks. Today we're going to be going over how to do a continuity test on your controller cable and power cable should you start having a problem. In order to do this test, you're going to need four simple tools. You're going to need a clipboard, a controller cable, a power cable, and a digital voltmeter capable of doing ohms or continuity. The first step in testing your controller cable is going to be to open the male end of the controller cable. This can easily be done by removing the metal end cap from the end of the controller cable by unscrewing the strain relief. Then the metal end cap will slide off. You're then going to want to slide the strain relief back about three to four inches so that it's out of your way. And then remove the plastic clip exposing your contacts. The second step is going to be similar to the first. You're going to unscrew the plastic strain relief from the metal end. The metal end will slide off. You'll again slide the strain relief out of your way and remove the plastic clip, exposing the contacts. You're then going to want to use your clipboard to hold the controller cable in place. This will help keep the wires in place while you're attempting to use your voltmeter. You're then going to want to turn your voltmeter to either ohms or continuity depending on what style meter you have. You may or may not have a continuity test. Once you have all these items set up and in place, you're then going to want to take and go through each connector of your controller cable one at a time, matching the white wire to the white wire, the red wire to the red wire, and so on. While doing this, you're going to want to make contact with one side of your probe, and then contact on the other side, listening for the beep. If you have a beep, that means that that connection is okay. While going through the rest of your connections, for instance, red to red, you should continue to get a beep indicating that you have a connection. If for some reason you go to a connection and you do not get a beep, this is indicating that you have an open or a broken wire inside of your controller cable and it's going to need to be replaced. If for some reason you experience an intermittent power condition with your yellow power cable, you can test this simply by taking one connection from your voltmeter and going to the side of the male power end and testing on pins one and two while listening for a beep. You're also going to want to check from pin 3 to the end of the male power connection, listening for a beep as before. Once you've identified that you do or do not have a broken wire in one of your cables, you can then contact Bullock's customer support for further assistance.